I've been in nuclear power for 37 years, 34 of those uh, in radiation protection. Uh, we're a support organization at our core, so RP technicians will survey uh, with using all different kinds of instruments. Um, the work areas where all of the different work groups have uh, a variety of tasks to perform. And secondly, we provide oversight of that work uh, from a radiological basis. Typically our oversight involves uh, reviewing the work specifics uh, from the permits uh, that we have uh, already pre-written out for the workers on the tasks that they have to do. Uh, sometimes that involves, in addition to that, actually going with the work crews into the areas and providing direct oversight of their work. That's the daily variety. Uh, you, you have a variety of people you're working with, a variety of uh, with the work. It's, it's different every single day. Um, the different jobs that are, you're supporting, uh, the different um, uh, production requirements that, that we actually uh, perform as part of our routines um, to protect not only the plant but uh, the environment. Well, this is a variety of responses uh, that you get from working with different people in different work groups. Uh, it's always a little bit different. You, your job is to communicate well so that they can uh, not only understand what you're talking about, but they'll actually implement it in their work processes. Uh, you get different responses. You have different experience levels with all different kinds of workers and work groups. So uh, that's some of the biggest challenges we deal with. Well, it's, a, uh, it's an understaffed and undermanned field. Uh, it takes a little bit of uh, persistence and um, patience to break into the industry. But once you're in, there is a lifetime of work and opportunities available in all kinds of um, offshoots from radiation protection uh, throughout the world for the rest of your life. You have that available to you.